to talk about New York, and I'm going to mostly talk about Manhattan, but I want to show you first where New York the state is on the map. As you can see over here, it's of course the state highlighted in red. So just so you can see uh, New York in relation to the rest of the country. city is actually broken up into five different boroughs. Uh, Manhattan is only one of these. So the boroughs are five different parts of New York City. Uh, we have the Bronx up there, where Yankee Stadium is. Queens, which is technically on Long Island, but nobody in Queens will admit to that. Brooklyn, and then there's also Staten Island over here. And Staten Island, as you can see, not connected. You have to take a ferry. You have to go by boat to get there. Statue of Liberty is actually located on its own island it's called Liberty Island. You can't get there by cab or by subway, you have to take a boat to get there. And what's really kind of cool is that you can climb up the Statue of Liberty. There are many different shops and restaurants uh, where you can get souvenirs, get lunch, there's pretty nice views because you're on an island. And also the boat that you take to get there has some nice views because it's kind of a little cruise. Ellis Island is an immigration center that is now closed, but while it was open, I think it processed about 12 million immigrants. And that's one of the reasons why New York is so diverse, because so many people came to New York that they stayed there, and that's why we have so many different neighborhoods like Chinatown, Little Italy, and there are of course many other neighborhoods with different ethnicities. But Ellis Island is a great place to go. It's now a museum. Most people in America, unless you're Native American, have roots from Europe and Asia and all over the world. So what you can do is you can go look up your family and try to find the records of when your ancestors came over to America. Many people, when they came to America, changed their names. For example, my last name is Rosen, but at one time it was probably something like Rosenstein. So they shorten their names to sound more American. So people like to go find out what their maybe original names were. Yankee Stadium we talked a little bit about before. I know most of you Austrians are not baseball fans, but I just wanted to show you this to show you kind of the amount of people. This was a game I went to over the summer and it was kind of a, an unimportant game early in the season. But look how many people show up for an event like this. So just to again show you, kind of emphasize the amount of people that are in New York. These are mostly New Yorkers because Yankee Stadium is in the Bronx. And like I said, it was not an important game, so people wouldn't have traveled to see it. This is another park. This is again just to kind of show you the amount of people that would turn out for any event. This is just kind of a boring movie screening I went to over the summer with a really old film. I don't even remember what it was. And it's just a free event in a park and thousands of people come to show up. So just to again give you kind of a picture of the number of people. There are about eight and a half million people living in New York City alone. And that's about how many people there are in all of Austria. So if you can imagine everyone in your country crammed into that tiny spot on the map that you saw before. That is New York.